Well, hopes are pinned on the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, but how are we all placed beyond COVID? This is a fascinating question to explore tonight in our Sky News documentary, which reveals the incredible leaps, especially in technology, that are helping to fight the virus, but also helping business pull through to economic recovery. Here's just a taste. COVID upended us in 2020. We all remember March. That horrifying vision beamed into our living rooms of hospitals in Italy. And it turned out frontline health workers were hugely exposed. What isn't well known is the incredible response of business behind the scenes. A phone call from IBM to the White House brought tech rivals Google, Microsoft and IBM together with more than 40 businesses and institutions lending their massive supercomputing power to scientists. Everybody was ready to say yes. Many of the IT companies, our competitors, right, they went together uh, trying to provide for free in a really unprecedented way all the computational resources that uh, were available to the scientific community, okay, to tackle the problem. At Oxford University, Professor Phil Biggin and his team are using this resource to help the thousands of COVID-infected patients. So we have been using HPC, or high-performance computing, to try and identify new compounds that bind, small molecules that bind to various proteins that are found within the virus. And the idea is that if we can find small molecules that uh, stick to the proteins in the virus, they can inhibit the, viral, the virus's function. So hopefully we can begin to stop uh, the infectivity of the virus or the replication capability of the virus. In Australia, the government's focus has been on sectors where technological change can power business forward. We're not picking winners, we're playing to our strengths. And we've seen that with the manufacturing strategy where we've identified a, a half a dozen areas where Australia does have comparative advantages. And food uh, is one area. Um, defence industry is another. The exciting space industry, um, medical uh, devices, uh, the resources uh, sector, uh, particularly critical minerals. Again, Australia's got great strength in those areas. That's really important. And then renewable and clean energy. Recovery czar Nev Power at the COVID Commission says that the pivots made by business during the pandemic have already fast-tracked how we work. We've seen a lot of businesses switch to online. We've seen a very rapid uptake of new technologies. And there's an opportunity to do more here. From the simple QR scanning that can um, allow your identity to be very easily monitored across multiple hospitality outlets, for example, right through to e-invoicing, which will provide benefits to customers of businesses, but will allow small businesses to be paid much quicker and reduce their working capital. For some time now, oil and gas company Woodside has been working with IBM on artificial intelligence. The result? Remote rigs can almost run themselves and maintenance costs are coming down by 40%. Things that used to take five days to complete previously now take 15 minutes. So that's a huge productivity initiative for us. Suddenly all of the other things that we were doing that generally took a lot longer than that suddenly sped up because people were starting to see, my goodness, if these guys in this contemporary technology area can move so quickly and they can implement change faster, then why can't we do that over in this stream here? Every business, every government organisation needs to be thinking about how they can do things even more effectively. And the use of technologies like cloud, like AI, like blockchain, Along with technology, IBM's country chief in Australia stresses that new skills are increasingly important. We do need to keep looking at how we build skills and the kind of um, opportunity that's there. I mean, I was just reading an industry report yesterday suggesting there'll be another 100,000 jobs in technology over the next four years. So the kind of opportunity for recovery and getting people back into work through reskilling is massive. After all the pain and adjustment through COVID, the task of business is to use the gains in tech and innovation to emerge smarter in the time beyond COVID. Tiki Fullerton, Sky News.
Well, certainly looking forward to that one, Chiki. Uh, Beyond COVID, Emerging Smarter will air at 7pm this evening.